On today's video review, we're going to be having a look at Jurassic Park di Dilophosaurus with Dino Strike Venom Spray. Um, I know this is different than what I usually do with my reviews, but uh, I thought I might change it up a bit. And um, I have this—I've had this guy for a very long time, and I think this figure was released in like what was it, 1992 or something? No, Jurassic Park was made in 1993, so it couldn't have been released in 1992. So it was probably released at the same time as Jurassic Park was released, so 1993. Um, I must say, I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. I grew up watching Jurassic Park, and I, I just loved the films. I got a whole tons of dinosaurs, but um, the original ones like this, I keep in the package. As you can see, my package is falling to pieces, though. It's coming undone. This figure is very, very old. I mean, the package is all bent up and ripped. But um, this is the Dilophosaurus. Um, it says with Dino Strike Venom Spray, which is nice. And you see in the background, there's a nice sunset, tropical jungle thing going on there. Then it also comes with a card, which I will get to in a little bit. If we turn to the back, um, the other figures in the wave is... Um, it's kind of hard to get this on camera. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Tim Murphy, Alan, uh, Tim Murphy with uh, Ames Retracting Snare. Then um, there's Alan Grant with uh, it says uh, launches aerial net trap. And there's Ellie Sattler, fires grappling hook launcher. Then Robert Molden, blasts Trank Bazooka, and Dennis Nedry's arms rip off. Trivial dino damage. Dino damage, okay. And the dinosaurs is the Velociraptor, the Dilophosaurus, and the Pterodon. Then there's also the, uh, what's it called? Dino Screamers, Screams, the Velociraptor, and then there's also the Dilophosaurus. This is the T Rex that was made, but um, it, was, it wasn't paint, painted this color. This, that was a prototype, it was, a, it was actually originally painted red. Sadly, I don't have the figure at all because it's so, it's so expensive. Then there's a Demetrodon with Dino Strike clamping jaws. Then there's the Colophysis. I can't read that word. With Dino Strike constrictor bodies. So, quite a lot of figures in the first series. So, um, let's get this guy opened up and have a closer look at him. Well, you know what? How about this? I'll just uh, I'll just take it out of the package right now since it's already like really really loose. I mean, you can even see freaking paint and stuff on it. I just there's the dinosaur. Then if I stick my hand, uh, sorry guys, I'm had trouble getting the card out. But um, here's the dinosaur itself, and um, I must say it looks very very nice. Has a rubber body, no no bendy wire in the tail, but um, see it has like squishy body. And what what you do is um, I will do the gimmick it has in a second, but um, for articulation on this guy, um, he has barely, well no, he has none in his arms, none in his head, none in his tail, and only a swivel in his leg, and that is it. Then it says JP02, which is nice. And the color screen, the color scheme they did on this figure is very, very cool. Um, with the card, it's not wanting to focus. For some reason, ever since I got in this lighting set, every time if I move something up real fast, it kind of gets blurry. But anyways, you see a, a nice picture of the dinosaur eating a guy. It says spitter dinner. That's kind of catchy. Catchy catchphrase. Then, um, Dilophosaurus, two crested reptile. Length, six meters. Weight, approximately 450 kilograms, I guess. Diet, meat, carnosier. This is confusing. Period, Jurassic, approx approximately 180 to 190 million years ago. Range, habitat, North America. These hooters were very fierce members of Jurassic Park. More of a scavenger than an active hunter. They may have spit in acid venom which 
blind it and immo immobilize its prey. So, um, this is actually a pretty nice accessory. Um, so if I just go get me a glass of water, and I will show you what this guy can do. Here I have my glass of water, and what you do is, if I, uh, take the dinosaur, and you stick it, its head in the water, you squeeze its guts, or, you, you know, its gut right here, squeeze its belly, and then let go. Then, I, you probably already guessed what this thing can do. But anyways, um, it could squirt venom or water like this. Well, you get the point. It doesn't really work that well since it's such an old figure. I have to clean up my background. So all in all, it's actually a very, very nice play toy. Um, the detail on him is pretty, pretty, very, very good. Pretty good. I mean, that didn't make sense. Pretty, pretty, very good. But whatever. Um, he can stand okay. Um, if I just move a movie down. Or another movie. And so, yeah. So, all in all, this is actually a very good figure. So, um, detail, I, I really, really like it. So I would give that, but then again, I think it, um, where does this come from, Les? This figure is brought to us by, uh, I don't know if you can all hear me, but I think it may be Kenner that made this. Yep, Kenner. Yeah. Kenner. I wasn't really for sure, but now we know. So that was my review on... Well, I forgot. So I would give the detail on this um, 7.8. It's really good. I really like it. Other than its eyes and its mouth, which is it's still very fairly good. And articulation, it's very bad. Bad. I give that a 2.2. Could have been better. But um, hey, I really do like the rubbery, the rubberness of the figure. So on all, is it a figure? Yes. I really do like this figure. Very, very nice. Give the whole figure a, uh, definitely an 8. How about an 8? If I could, I would put it down below in the corner right there, but I don't know how. So sorry about that. So I would give this an 8. So thanks for watching, and please comment and subscribe. And really, that's pretty much it for the Jurassic Park reviews. I may do a review of uh, the Dimitrodon. I have that one in package still. So I may review that one. Post down below if you want me to or not. Or you could, you know what I ain't going to talk about. I'm just going to review stuff at random. Probably end up be doing seven reviews today. So um, thanks for watching and please comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with another figure review.